Sample number 27, working with capacity. I've added a couple more examples in here. Um, the first issue is that um, in order to calculate capacity, the first thing you do is you need to find the volume of the shape. And then having found the volume, you can then change that into a measure of capacity. Um, before we start on the questions, we'll do some um, basic conversion ideas. One cubic centimeter of liquid, or yeah, one cubic centimeter of liquid of gas is equivalent to, to one milliliter. Um, one cubic meter is equivalent to one kiloliter, or one thousand liters. Um, the issue with this one over here is that we've got uh, millimeters in our question, and because our nice easy conversions are either in meters or centimeters, it would make sense to actually change these into centimeters or meters before we start. So we'll come back to that in a bit. So for our first one, for our rectangular prism over here, we're going to call this A. Um, the volume of a rectangular prism is the length times the base times the height. So we're just going to do 20 times by 30 times by 40. So two threes are six, and then six fours are 24. So I'm going to have 24. Um, but then I'm multiplying by another 10 times 10 times 10. So I'm multiplying by another thousand. So I put three zeros in. So my volume here is 24,000 cubic centimeters. And so that means because it's one cubic centimeter to a millimeter, we're going to end up with 24,000 milliliters. Um, what we should point out though is that our question actually wants us to work in liters. So we need to change our milliliters into liters. And so to change milliliters to liters, we're going to go back to our unit conversions we did earlier in the chapter. So 24,000 milliliters, we want to change that into liters. So because we've got milliliters on the top and then milliliters underneath, liters on the top, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So really what I'm doing here is 24,000 divided by 1,000. That's just going to give me 24 liters. So for part B, um, we've got a cylinder and the volume of a cylinder V is equal to pi r squared times by h but notice that we need the radius and we've actually got the diameter so the radius here is just half of the diameter so the radius is six meters so our volume is going to be pi times by six squared times by 14. on the calculator that gives us pi times six squared is 36 times by 14 and that gives us 1,583 cubic meters. 1,583 cubic meters. And then because of a conversion, that means it ends up being 1,583 kiloliters. And because there are 1,000 liters in a kiloliter, so 1,583 kiloliters times by kiloliters on the top and equaliters on the bottom and then liters on the top and one kiloliter is 1000 so I'm going to do 1583 times by 1000 which is going to give me 1,583,000 liters. And now on to our tricky triangular prism. So like I said earlier on, the issue is the fact that we've got the distances in millimetres and so what we want to do is to change our millimetres to centimetres first and really what's going to happen is we're going to divide each number by 10. So, and But the other issue is the fact that I've got this 5 here. When we're finding volume, we always need to have distances which are at right angles to each other. So I've got the 3 and the 4 here at right angles to each other, and the 7 and the 4 are at right angles to each other. This 5 isn't any use at all. Okay, It's not actually going to affect the volume of the triangle. So the volume of a triangular prism, because you can always fit two of them into a rectangular prism, the volume is a half of the length times the breadth times the height. So I've got a half times by 3 times 4 times 7 millimetres, but I want them in centimetres, so each of them are going to be divided by 10, so 0 0.3 times 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 0 0.3
times by 0 0.4 times by 0 0.7. 3 4s are 12, 12 7s are 84, half of 84 is 42. But because I've got one, two, three decimal places in the question, I need one, two, three decimal places in my answer, so I need to put an extra zero point there. You could, of course, work this out on the calculator. So that gives me 0 0.042 cubic centimetres. So that's really quite a tiny object. And then that's going to change to 0 0.042 millilitres. And then to change the millilitres into litres, I'm going to do the same thing as I did over here. I'm going to divide by 1,000. So 0 0.042 divided by 1,000 gives me <coughs> 0 0.000. That's I divided by 1,000 part. And then the 0 0.042. And that'll be in litres.